Bitcoin's gotten destroyed, um, and lo and behold, uh, you know, stocks have been puking up uh, in their own right. What investors need to understand is that there is a connection between Bitcoin and the basic social mood of what was speculation is now a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, cautious. Bitcoin peaked about a week after I said short it on your show, December 13th, and it was at 17,250 and it went to 20,000. Of course, today it's on the low of the year. It's down below 7,000. What's interesting is Bitcoin very clearly leads risk assets, and let's just talk about the S&P 500. Bitcoin started tanking in the middle of December, and the S&P 500 started tanking after uh, January 26th. And then interestingly, when the stock market dropped 12% in a very short period of time, actually about four or five days before the S&P 500 bottomed in February, Bitcoin started to rally, and it was rallying sharply, so it led the stock market. And then Bitcoin actually started tanking again from 12,000 a few days before the S&P 500 and other stock indices started to take gas back a few weeks ago. And interestingly, Bitcoin then started actually on Monday when there was a drubbing for the stock market, Bitcoin was actually rallying. It was up on Monday and then rallied sharply Monday night into Tuesday morning. And since then, we've had a stabilizing, you know, pretty decent update in the stock market. So what's, what's fascinating is how people don't understand that Bitcoin mm. is the poster child of the social mood and the speculative kind of animal spirits. And so it's interesting to watch it. Unfortunately, Bitcoin is now on the low of the year. It's down very significantly uh, uh, today. So it kind of shows that the volatility in the stock market that I've been talking about, I mean, I tweeted it out back when the NASDAQ hit its all-time high that day, and it seemed like maybe the coast was clear, and a lot of people were talking about, you know, this bad dream was over about volatility. You'll notice that volatility is not gone at all. Right. In fact, we're in a, we're in a new regime of volatility. I remember back in, uh, in the summer of last year, we talked about the VIX being below 10 was not something that was going to be sustainable, and that my highest conviction idea was that volatility was going to return. And I recall people saying that the VIX would never go above 15 again. Pretty interesting. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.